It's time for some tea on Plus TV Africa. Welcome to Tea Time, where we will bring you the latest entertainment stories and, of course, discuss and analyze them with you. Uh, my name is Osi Godwin. I'm here with Just Ewa Oritu. How you doing? Great, great, great. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So quickly into this, Snoop Dogg pays tribute to late grandson after Virginia concert. Um, his son revealed that his son, Kai Love, died on Wednesday, September 25th. Um, I think this was the real sad news. Um, mm. I think this came out on Friday. On Friday yeah, yeah, and um, he had to at least show respect to the so grandson because it was 10 days old. It was yeah, still so, at the hospital. Yeah, he was still at the hospital when he died. Um, reasons for his death have not oh, been no. revealed, mm. but it's quite sad. But this is supposed to be his fifth grandson, mm. right? And I think the third child for his son. So, yeah. It's just like he said, it's a very sad story, and I like that he, he was strong enough to still go on stage and mm -hmm. perform, and I, I like that he acknowledged um, the newborn baby and give, um, give him tributes. I just hope that they have, um, God give them enough strength to move on from it, because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not easy to no, lose some, easy. someone close to you, even if it's young or really old. Mm -hmm. I mean, nine months, it's not a joke. Mm -hmm. I really feel bad for them, and I just hope that they get through it. I hope so too. All right, moving on real quick. Celidion's um, tour crew are doing okay after being electrocuted during stage setup. An insider revealed a member of her crew was electrocuted on Tuesday at the Bell Center while climbing in the rigging um, 50 feet above her stage. He was thrown off the rigging, dislocating his shoulder, but was caught by a saf safety harness and survived. Um, this um, tour is called the Courage World Tour. Mm. And I think and there has been so many really, yeah. apps <laughs> on this tour. She had had to pro um, um, postpone um, weekend over weekend because mm. of her throat. The doctor says that she needs to rest mm. and she needs to postpone. And then this one happened. I mean, and if I'm it's like, here, we say it's your village people. So I don't know what's just That was exactly what was on my mind. When I saw the story, I'm like, hmm, this is a village. Or is it Drake that is sending village people to her? <laughs> At the same time, I, I, it reminds me of her husband. Because mm. I feel like if he was alive, so many would things have able to would not have everything. happened. Because he's always mm. been managing her career from day one. And we've not heard of this much mishap happening on her tour, except maybe the media was not paying attention. Mm. But this is the first time she's going through all this on one tour. And I, I don't want to imagine what she's going through, especially if it's a case of her realizing that these people could do a better job. Mm. And so if that's the case, you realize that she will start missing him more and being very emotional. So um, I just hope that this time around, they have a new date, I think October, October. Um, two weekends in October. I hope that this one comes through now and there is no more electrocution. Yeah, else. I, I pray that this particular date comes through and they don't have any reason to postpone it again. And I just, I really hope, pray that she has the strength to continue. I mean, if you've been trying to do something and different things keep coming up, mm -hmm. somebody got electric, <coughs> ah, that's like a serious thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and her own health particularly, she might even want to cancel the tour mm. because after all this drama, it's very tiring. Yeah, I mean, that's the kind of person I am. Like, if I want to <laughs> do something and I keep getting setbacks, 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 I don't know if it's laziness <laughs> or wrong, but I just tell myself, oh, I don't think, I don't think God wants me to do this Nigeria, right Nigeria, yeah, what she said. It's a like, sign. Ah, your body's already telling you. Yeah. It's better you back off now. I just, because I, I know that a lot of people really want to see um, Celine Dion come perform. Mm -hmm. if, if I have the opportunity, I want to watch She doesn't perform. even need to perform yeah. new songs, just the classics and you're yeah, happy. Yeah, I just want to see her life there, you know. But I just pray that this one, this particular one comes true mm. because I'm sure a lot of people are already disappointed. So many people would not even be interested again. You know, all these things, people can easily get tired when it mm -hmm. comes to... And even if they are not tired, they probably have something else, else for the weekend has been postponed too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think the two stories we have now is making Ewa pray so much. But it's time <laughs> for a quick break. And when we return, we'll definitely discuss more stories. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. No. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. I can still make music 
and people are still by. That was how they look myself, minimal eye, you. Mm. Apala music is from mature-minded people. Like, God DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. Adele's divorce paper unveils her marriage only lasted 11 months. Um, it had been previously thought that um, Adele and her husband tied in knot in 2016 after five years of dating, but divorce papers lodged last week revealed that they actually tied in knot in May 2018, just 11 months before their separation was announced. I think the separation was announced in April. Um, she gave birth to their son and only child, Angelo, in 2012. So um, I think this is just. Wait, 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 I saw this story and I'm like, insiders. Mm. What were you people doing? doing What's your job? You but you know, job. Adele is a very private person, mm. which is one thing I admire about her. And I, I mean, if you look at the celebrities I admire, it's the fact that they are able to take away their personal life, life off mm. the media or social media. Someone like Genevieve, that's one thing she mm. does that I love so much. So for Adele, it's not even surprising that they're just finding out now. And if not for the court papers, which is supposed to state exactly when the when, marriage yeah. happened and why it is breaking, nobody, will nobody was going to know, right? But they've been together for a very long time. Their first child, 2012, right? But they just officially yeah. got married in yeah. 2018. And sometimes it just makes me feel like, why not just not get married Gemma, yes. and enjoy your relationship because it seems when the marriage comes it just it comes a lot destroys of everything and, and yeah. you know because i think it comes with another level of expectation not the kind you have when you're just another is my I, boyfriend i, 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 I see it as another level of commitment yeah. because you have to give in extra mm -hmm. the world is expecting more because there's the that family, marriage tag you know but at the same time i think it all plays out in our head because who says you cannot continue living as boyfriend and girlfriend while even still married mm. It just plays in our head and we want more. But the interesting part of this whole story is the part where I saw that she's in the studio putting her I all into it. it. And I'm so <laughs> waiting for that album. I know we've been bashed. Mm. People are saying, oh, you put that saying you're waiting for album on somebody's heartbreak. My sister, she's going to but make it money. it is too. what it is. On the heartbreak. <laughs> so I'm going to be streaming and it's going to bring money, mm. right? So I'm sure she wants us to anticipate this album yeah. because mm -hmm. everybody knows that once she's coming out of an art break, you're getting fire. Mm -hmm. you're, even if nobody's breaking your heart, you'll be crying in your room. Yeah. Like, no. So I'm definitely looking forward to that album. Mm. And I'm also hoping that this divorce um, process is going to be very smooth. Because it is, because I like their friendship. To insiders, yeah. they said that um, when it comes to their money and all of that, they would like to handle it privately. privately yeah. And I'm, I'm, I, when I read that, I'm like, yeah, I'm very impressed. She's not just, she's not, she didn't just keep her private mm. life like, it wasn't like a cover up or anything. Mm -hmm. She's just being real and she's being herself. I feel like they share something very tight. It's probably because, so like you said, the marriage tag, mm. a lot of expectation comes along with it. Mm. And I know that even after this divorce, they will have like a very cordial relationship at the end of the day. Because even that now, they, they are not making it look like they have a problem. Mm. They are just making it look like, okay, well, we both agree that mm. this particular journey we can't continue together. And I won't be surprised if they see if they go back to dating, like just being mm. the boyfriend and girlfriend instead of the whole marriage stress. Anyways, uh, moving on to another story. Kevin Hart's former friend, JT Jackson, is off the hook for felony extortion charge in connection to the comedian sex tape scandal, but still faces three other felonies. He was accused of um, trying to extort $5 million from the comedian in exchange for keeping his sex tape under wraps, according to law enforcement sources. Now, that's the people with Tam Army Boy in the police. Mm. Um, the Los Angeles County District Attorney made the move to, um, because Jackson never made a specific money demand directly to Hart or his representative. However, he isn't completely free. Prosecutors are still going after him for other crimes, which includes three felonies, two counts of unauthorized use of personal identifying information, and attempted concealing and selling stolen property. Prosecutors said Jackson attempted to sell the tape to various celebrity news websites after Hart refused to pay him off. I think mm. this is a typical case of my, your friend can be your worst enemy, I right? Mean, and we spoke about this when the you, case drink came back. With you and still yeah. come back we and talked about it when the case came back up and um, I mean, we were talking about how the lady was coming back to file mm. when initially it was a case of um, Kevin didn't even know that there was a recording. She didn't know there was a recording, and that was something she attested to at the mm. time. More like the way and then it was suddenly a set up she's for coming them. back again to open this case. And I think opening this case now 
is putting JT Jackson in problem because every part of the story has to be checked and mm. cross-checked, right? So, I and, don't know. Because um, concerning the extortion charges, I think charges can be um, castic until they are direct. Mm -hmm. Since it didn't come to Kelvin directly or any of his people directly, mm -hmm. they can't sue him for extortion. The only thing he did was demand for money on... Um, different blogs and all of that. Mm. But it's just still being a bad friend. Like, why would you even do that to your friend? It's just a very... You're supposed to put it I think it's high, time we remove the, it's, it's high time we remove the friend tag from his thing when we're talking about the story. Mm. Like, let's just call him what he is, JT Jackson, basically. Because if we keep saying this is Kevin Hart's friend, how exactly is he his friend? Right. You, um, from the stories, which is unconfirmed, they're mm. saying that he probably planted the camera in the um room. in the room so why would you do that to your friend right anyway i think it's time for another break but when we return we have just one story for you we'll be right back you're watching plus tv africa and this is tea time i loved the energy when i came in here it oh, was okay. so positive i was like i can't I can live here. My real names are Akbofi Fubo, Akboru Bome Mere. I think my father is a comedian because most times when he calls me, he's like, yo, make sure you use condom, you know, them girls out there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so are you telling me I should have shot my shots? If you have a younger brother. Age is so nothing but a number. Well, I'm a vampire. Like, <laughs> in equal rights for okay. women mm -hmm. and I also believe that a man is the head of the house so okay. we need to draw our limits somewhere. It feels so good. I can I do my jam now? Yeah, yeah. you can. Welcome back. Our final story on this episode is on Sheung Kuti, who says the Grammys are very boring. In an interview, Sheung revealed that um, the Grammys can be very boring. I think he's talking about the events. He's saying that the event actually starts at 2 p.m., that the two hours on TV, that is the gay gay part. <laughs> Um, and then Grammy starts at 2 to 7, which is more like a Jesus party, and the Nigerians would definitely love that part. That um, he now understands why the Soweto Choir would win because you know he was nominated over, um, in the same category with them on the world music and the won. So he's saying that the Grammy is actually very big and um, you don't even understand how big it is and how big the ties are. So I've not been to a Grammy, right? <laughs> He's the only one that can tell us. No, but then from the experience, everybody's entitled to their opinion. <clears throat> and uh, two to seven, what's happening? <laughs> what's I mean, going on? Like that's said, not like, so it's not like the event is ending, um, ending seven. Mm -hmm. The main event is starting at eight. Mm -hmm. So you're already there from like two to seven. Then you go to the red carpet. That's like you have another two hours or three hours of events. Like, ah. Uh, that's like too much. But if, if you if you, if you have good music, and good um, people people giving you good music, basically, I think you shouldn't be bored. Cause I don't know why she won't could still come. This is the first time I'm hearing this about the Grammy ever, mm. right? Or maybe I've I've just not paid attention. But this is the first time I'm hearing it. And if you're a music head and you love music, I don't think they're going to pick any and yeah any from kind the of interview. Choir. I think his problem is because um, the first um, is it five hours? Yeah, is for like Christians. Mm. I think that's like his problem. Because mm -hmm. the past he said um, Nigerians will love that part and Jesus Christ song, all those things. I'm like, well, what are you saying? <coughs> this is actually the first time I mean that somebody's going to Grammy and is coming back to say like, he has something to do with Christianity or mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. I think they feature all genres of music. Mm. So there is space for almost everything. Everything. So I'm wondering yeah. where the Jesus Christ kind of thing is coming from like what does he even mean by that? Well, we we'll never can, we won't tell because he's the one he was the one there. We're well, not there. Mm, true. And this what we can see is the two hours the show, which is between the eight o'clock and the I think ten PM or thereabouts. So And um, I like that I didn't just bring down Grammy. He said that I really appreciated that he was nominated because mm -hmm. his Grammy is not easy to get there. Mm -hmm. he, he, he didn't just bring out like okay, it was boring and he didn't make it look like it wasn't anything. He made it look like okay, though I didn't enjoy it as much as I expected, but yeah, I, it was like a great opportunity for him to be there and that's fair enough. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. What I enjoy is not what you enjoy. enjoy. 
Okay, I hope that he gets to win this someday. Because know I, I was, when, I, when I saw this story, lot. I was reading comments and Nigerians always coming out to drag somebody. Yeah. It, I mean, it's what it feels. It's not saying that that is what it is. I actually. think there is a, an unwritten competition on social media now of who can put the most wicked comments mm. on social media because everybody just wants to say something horrible about the next person and it's really sad. I just hope that we can go Do past better. this culture mm. and not be this way because once there is a post, whether it is a good, whether it is bad, somebody they just want to be savage. Horrible. I have yeah. to be the most savage person online. I don't think that's helping anyone. It's not anyone. a good thing. Especially now that we are talking about mental health and um, how our comments can affect people. So and speaking of mental health, I read a story this morning um, about a young lady that saved um, a young guy from drowning at the beach. Mm. Was it yesterday? Yeah. Okay. I think the guy was depressed and nobody was so paying attention. So he was going attention. to commit he was suicide. Going to commit suicide wow. but she noticed and then she and her friends went to meet him and they found out that oh you were going to, this guy was going to kill himself, kill himself. and mm. i think we should this when i saw the story i just felt like we should pay uh, more attention to what's going on around us i mean if you see somebody sitting alone weirdly or acting funny it's not so bad mm. to go and I talk to alone, them yeah but yeah. well, don't come to me <laughs> <laughs> okay i think that's how we wrap up this episode of tea time thank you so much for watching and of course you can also join the conversation by using the hashtag tea time on social media also watch all our exclusive content and of course all the episodes you might have missed on our youtube channel at plus tv africa please don't forget to subscribe you can also watch tea time in london on ben television my thank you as always go to my co-anchor ewa ritu and the entire production team and of course shout out to our stylist my name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching.